Hello everybody, it's Joe here and welcome back to another episode of Transport Fever. Today we're back on Race to the North. It's January the 14th. Yay, there it is now. 1869. We've got just under £5 million in the bank and no loan. That's absolutely brilliant. We're making a nice tidy profit every year. I know that we've slowed the time down a little bit, haven't we? Oh no, we haven't. It's on uh, one time speed now. But we're with our passenger train that we put in in the, uh, in the last episode. And uh, well, actually, I tell a lie, this isn't the passenger train uh, that we put in in the last episode. It is indeed the London to Birmingham Railway. However, if you look, we've got, uh, we've got another one over there. That's train A. And then we've got another one somewhere else. Uh, there's another train somewhere. Yeah, is it in Birmingham? It is not in Birmingham, I don't actually know. Oh, he's there, train six. There we go. So we've actually got three trains on this now. They're all carrying a healthy number of passengers, which is excellent. The route itself is making a tidy uh, tidy amount of profit. Yeah, there you go, look at that. They're not all full, which is good, because it's a bit, of, a bit of wiggle room. Uh, Northampton also proving quite popular. I mean, I know we've got no buses on to Northampton just yet, but we can sort that out in good time, can't we? Uh, so yeah, things are really, really good. We've got, uh, got lots of passengers for, uh, oh my lord, I mean, look at that, that's ridiculous, isn't it? The Birmingham 2 bus really does need more than five on, so uh, let's put... Let's put another five on and see how we get on. We're going to do exactly the same for the Birmingham Bus 3. Uh, we're going to put five on and then make that ten. There we go. We're going to have ten vehicles. I mean, this is going to clog the roads up something chronic, isn't it? And I mean, Birmingham Bus 1, 70-odd passengers waiting. Let's have another five buses there. I mean, it's just going to be ridiculous, isn't it, how, how that's going to clog up uh, but, I mean, obviously it needs to happen. It needs to happen. We could try replacing those with a tram in good time. However, uh, uh, we'll see how we get on because obviously the trams can carry more. Uh, now, in terms of our trains, I thought that we might work on uh, a bit more freight into London because we've got this nice healthy amount of money coming in now. We can actually use this to do something with the uh, with the hub. So we're going to destroy the depot. Now, obviously, the depot is uh, we're going to destroy this bit of railway as well here. The depot is like going to be the the sort of it's going to be down here in Reading, isn't it? Uh, the singular depot for the series. Now, I'm going to just fast forward while he gets out of town. We're going to destroy all this track here because obviously we need to uh, we need to do something with the uh, with the distribution hub here don't we so uh how long is that is it is it 240 i don't think it is it looks looks just a little bit short there doesn't it right 240 do you know what i am incorrect it is 240 in length that is brilliant so we're going to pop in a bit more track where are we now track 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 there we go right one two three four five six this road is probably gonna have to go we'll delete that we can always pop a bit more in later can't we right there we go that's good right okay we'll go back to misc no we won't we will go to platforms because we need uh, we need a cargo platform one two three four five six bit more track I think should we go for four platforms initially i think that would probably be all right wouldn't it four platforms there we go. And, I mean, worst case scenario, we can always expand later on, can't we? So that's good. Right, we've got four platforms there. Now, don't worry about the grain growing in between the track. I shall sort that out momentarily. So, uh, right, hang on. We'll go for 25 mile an hour coming out of here. Yeah, keep it flat. Or can we get 30? We can get 30. Look at that. Right, bring you round there. There we go. So... Uh, right, you're going to be 50. Right, no, you're not, apparently. Right, we'll carry on with the 30 around the corner. There we go. Right, so that's going to be 30. We'll bring you 30 to there, and then 50 up to there. We may as well... Uh, hang on, where are we? Or should we just... Go, we'll just go for 75. Hang on. Right, no, scrap that. 60. Right, that's good. Right, stick you stick you there. Can we, can we get the track to all... Work together, we can. Excellent. Right, that's that's good. So you're coming out of there. We then need more 30 coming around this way. Although we can actually... There we go. We don't need that to be two tracks, do we? Well, no, we need it to be two tracks, but we don't need it to go from one. Right, there we go. 
I know what I'm saying. I, I realise I'm not actually saying it very clearly, but there we go. Right. So you can be flat as well. Excellent. You can uh, you can come round there. Brilliant stuff. Can we? Oh, we can even. It's gonna let us make an X. Look at that. Right. How about a bit of seventy-five now? Don't let me down. You've done well so far. Weirdly enough, yeah, it's uh, it's it's enjoyed that, hasn't it? Right. Okay. So this is obviously. Can we can we just build that across? I mean, that doesn't seem to sort of not like it, does it? Oh, that's horrible. Why why would that happen? Right, we could just sort of build that around there. We could even have that as a 30. There we go. We'll have it as 30, because obviously, round here. Uh, right, there we go. So that if we need to avoid, we can avoid. Yeah, like that. Right, we're going to go into the terrain tools, because I know that uh, I know we're going to try... And uh, we're going to try and be a bit better in this series. Right, there we go. Right, 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 right. I'm going to delete all of the corn from the centre of the track. There we go. I must also point out, people were asking about King's Cross, saying it looks horrendous. Yes, I appreciate what you're saying there. It turns out that, for some reason, it put a load of uh, terrain... Oh, no, why has it done that? There we go, right. Delete you. Delete all of that as well. Whee, there we go. Right, delete it all. Lovely. And we're even going to delete the wheat from the centre of this uh, this little... There, uh, there you go. You see what I mean? Yeah, just delete all of that from this triangle. That's going to make it look quite good. We're going to try and uh, actually put a bit more effort into making it look good this season. Season? Series. There we go. Right, delete you. And you. There we go. Now, that's all growing in the middle of the track. We'll sort that out in a little bit. Right. Signals. One-way signals there. One-way signals there. That should be enough. And then anyone else can sort of just do their own thing. Now, is everybody... No. Right. That's not happy. So, let's have a look in the distribution hub. So, the grain obviously needs to go... So, Southern England distribution hub, platform number four. So, you're happy with that now. Excellent. Uh, what's the other thing on here? S-E-D-H planks 1. Which is... Oh, it's there. I couldn't see it there. Right, that is absolutely lovely. So, let's get that back on. Everybody's thrilled. There's no warnings. What I might also do, because it, it does seem weird. Right, okay, I'll tell you what. We'll go back into the landscaping. Make the brush a little bit bigger. There, lovely. We'll delete this grain from around here, because it just... It seems odd, doesn't it, having this field... Just this little field. There we go. Right. Delete that. Delete that there. Lovely. Beautiful stuff. Right. Okay. And what we'll also do, we'll, we'll just this sort of embankment. Hang on. Bit more. Bit more. There. Lovely. Right. This sort of embankment here. We'll, we'll pop that there. There we go. Because I don't think they grow grain on a vertical sort of surface, do you? I, d I just can't see that that is the ideal place for grain to be grown. Right, there we go. Just just cut that back. Lovely. And the same again all the way up there. Beautiful stuff. Right, okay. I realise I've uh, taken a bit more out there than I should have done, but never mind. Don't tell the farmer. How's that? Right, there we go. Around there. We'll just sort of bring that down. We need a... Uh, ah, beautiful. Tell you what, we'll cut that back round there. So we've got like a little bit of track side. There we go. That's looking better. Now what we could do, if we want it to be really, really in depth, we're going to go for a fence. What type of fence we're we going for? Just a normal mode curve. Collision off. We'll go with on. <laughs> How's that? Right, there we go. Right, that's going to put a fence. Along there, that's going to look quite good, isn't it, really? Right, don't go into the track. I don't want you on the track. There we go, right. And then what, we're going to drag that all the way up there. Simply because this is also a field, isn't it? Ah, look at that. Yeah, all the way to there. Right, that's fine. 
So now there should be a fence alongside. That looks pretty good. I'm I'm not going to deny that does look good. Right. Okay. I'm going to put a fence here. Let's just. There we go. Right. Put that fence to there. And again, we'll put this fence all the way up through. Through here. They are lovely. I realise you can't see a lot of this fence because it's, uh, it's hidden, isn't it? Because of the wheat. There we go. Or whatever it is. Ah, lovely. Right. Until there. There we go. That'll do. We can sort the rest of that fence out in a minute. But it just sort of makes it look a little bit better, doesn't it? We also need to do something with the... Oh, the depot. I've forgotten. Oh, crumbs. I've forgotten the depot. For goodness sake. Right. Okie dokie. Uh, we'll go for the standard 30 coming out of here. I'm going to connect that with him. And him. You can actually come across there. How's that? There we go. That's good. Right, we'll bring 75 mile an hour. Tell you what, we'll bring that into one single track. There we go. Right, bit of that. I don't actually know, you know, where we're going to stick the depot. We could stick the depot here, couldn't we? I mean, that will work. Or we can go back to how we did have it. So we had a depot here. Oh, but our lovely fence work. Never mind. Sod the fence work. Right, get that depot there. Why are we colliding? We're not colliding with anything. Right, hang on. Yeah. Delete you. What we'll do is we'll go for the terrain tools, yeah, and flatten. Hang on, yeah, flatten. Flatten this grain, there we go. I mean, it means that the grain now has a random bump in the middle of it, but ignore that, it's all fine. So, we're going to stick you there, there we go, right, stick you on there, and then we're going to pop you around the other end. Can we stick them together like we did last time? Oh, that's a shame. Doesn't seem to want to let us this time, but never mind. We'll, we'll pop in there. And then what we'll do is we'll just sort of stick him on there. There, lovely. Bit of a signal going on there. Excellent. So he's going to go in there. And then he can... I mean, is this because I can't, I can't go through the fence? Right, I can't go through the fence. So what we'll do is we'll go back to the... I knew that this would be a disaster. Uh, right, there should be a, a deleting asset. There we go. Asset eraser tool. There we go. Which is actually much quicker than deleting each individual shrub. Right, there we go. And, of course, you're not going to want to go over there, are you? But you could. There we go. Right, signals. Pop him on there, and then we can delete this chappy here. I mean, at this moment in time, there's absolutely no way of getting you over the other direction, but we'll we'll cross that, won't we, at some point? Will we, will we do that? Um. Yeah, we, we could always sort of... Yeah, we'll ignore that. Let's go back to that paint tool. I want rid of that flipping grain. Grain everywhere. Good lord. Blooming fields. Who needs them? Right, so we've got that. That's absolutely fine. So, yeah, in this episode, I wanted to focus on getting more food and uh, machines to London. So what we need to do is focus on how we're going to actually make machines. Now, London doesn't have... A machines factory apart from the machines factory that it has there so it's gonna need uh, yeah as you can tell I've done my research it's gonna need steel it's gonna need planks now luckily for us we are actually already making planks you can see there's a, a lot of planks that need to go into London from here uh, which is not getting made also it's saying that we're carrying tools on this line I'm assuming we're carrying them back to Reading that is a good thing. Excellent. Uh, what I might do, I tell you, I might put some more, uh, some more doodars on here. 
Put some more platforms, there we go. That might work better. Excellent. Just because, you know, we, we need more. Now, I might also put one of these, these fellas on here. Have we got enough storage space? Yes, we have. Excellent. So, carrying planks, carrying food, that's good. We need to make machines. So, we need to make steel, which is, uh, is excellent. Now, steel is a commodity, which is made of coal and iron ore. However, I can't actually see a steel mill. Let's have a look. Have we got something in Birmingham there? No, that requires steel. It appears that all the cities can actually manufacture what they need. Excellent. That's that's funky. So we've got a steel mill by Sheffield. That's pretty. Uh, that's pretty okay. Right. Okay. So is that is that the closest one? Is that? I mean, steel does come from the north, doesn't it? Uh, let's have a look. Right. So London Machines Factory. The suppliers or either Stirling or Sheffield Steel Mill. So uh, obviously it's going to be Sheffield there, isn't it? So let's pop to Sheffield. Now we've got coal mines at Leeds and Manchester for the iron ore mine. We've also got Sheffield iron ore mine, Sheffield coal mine just there. Now this obviously can be transported by train, but I think we would be... Oh, you see, it's, it's one of them, isn't it? I mean, in the long term... This will just be lorries. I mean, look, it's so close to each other. Do we need to make it... It keeps flying out there. Do we need to make it train? Because obviously... Oh, you see, I don't know. It's a difficult one, isn't it? It's a difficult one. What I'm going to do, I'm going to go with my gut and say lorries. Now, Sheffield is going to need... I mean, I think we decided, didn't we, that Sheffield was going to be the uh, the place... Where the, I don't know why I'm zooming in and out, but Sheffield was going to be the place where the uh, the sort of central belt distribution hub was. Although I don't know whether to go for a sort of a northeast and a northwest sort of thing, or do we just have one in between? Ooh, I don't know. We could always motorway over the top, couldn't we? Ah, right, okay. So, we'll, we'll delete all this here. There we go. Right, okay. And we'll delete that as well. Our newest road on the map. Right, okay. So, we're going to stick you down there. Or maybe we're not. There we go, right. Okay, not happy with that. Excellent, right. Pop that there. And we're going to pop that there. Lovely. Take that off the end. We're going to go for the buildings. Excellent, there we go. Buildings four. We'll go for four again. And hope for the best. Right, okay. Right, so we've stuck that there. Excellent. Now, 25, 25. Now, I don't actually know what we're going to do in terms of Sheffield passenger transport at this stage. So, we will go for 25 sort of out there. Why am I going for 25? We'll go for 30. There we go. Treat ourselves. We'll go for 30, sort of, around there. Yeah, lovely. And then this can sort of go for 30 out there. Up that end, and then 30 around there. How's that? Lovely. And we'll, you know, so that you can sort of access all four corners of the UK. Now we're gonna go for how are we gonna do this now with the trucks? So we'll we'll go back to the back to the trucks there. Lovely. Three and three, how's that sound? And thirty meters. I mean that is gonna work. Right, we'll stick that there. The trains can go around the back. That could actually look pretty cool. So we're gonna blob you on there. Now the Sheffield people are gonna be absolutely uh, they're gonna be seething. They're gonna be so angry. Because obviously we're going to be running a load of trucks through their uh, their beloved city, so we're just going to uh, we're just going to pop that on there for the coal mine, and the exact same for the iron ore mine. There we go, right, lovely, and just have two separate trucks. There we go. So that will be the truck Sheffield Coal One. That will be the iron ore truck, Sheffield iron ore one. And that's obviously going to go there as well. Lovely. Splendid. Right, let's put a depot in Sheffield. Uh, 
vehicle manager. Right, hang on. So what have we got here? These can all carry all. So that can carry... Right, okay. I mean, this is naturally capacity 5. That can carry 5. They're, they're very much the same. But these, you can actually see what's on them. So we're going to order 40 of the things. No, nope, we're going to order 80 of the things. There we go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. You can go on Truck Sheffield Co. 1. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Truck Sheffield Co. 1. There must be a quicker way of doing this. But without highlighting them all. 10. Truck Sheffield Co. 1. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Truck Sheffield Sheffield Co. 1. And then the remaining 40, we can just shove on the iron ore route. There we go. Easy peasy. Right, so that's that. Now we need to get the steel down to London. However, the steel is obviously going to go into Reading, isn't it? Because this is our distribution hub. So the steel's going to come here from the Sheffield hub. That's how we're going to do that. Is it? Yes. So we need to find a way... Of getting that down there. So obviously Northampton. There. We could build a route up through sort of Nottingham. However then we're thinking like where's the passenger transport going. So what we'll do is we'll look at putting the passenger transport in. For Sheffield. Now if we, if we go on what's happening. So the commercial is there, so that would make a lot of sense, wouldn't it, to sort of try and put the station here by the commercial and industrial side of business. Right, okay, so if we delete that, and if we delete that, and probably the road would just built, actually, but if we put... There we go. Right, we're going we're gonna to tram as well. There we go, we'll tram. And obviously we're expecting Sheffield to grow as a city. There we go. Right, we'll go for deleting that. Buildings. Just a normal, tell you what, we'll go for the uh, we'll go for the normal station. There we go, the Great Western style. 240 metres, medium. Hang on, what did we actually oh no, we'll go for 320 metres. Just for the longest of trains, because obviously we were on. We want to run things like HSTs. We'll go for a large station. There we are. Look at that. Sheffield. Large. That's going to work. I mean, that actually looks pretty impressive, doesn't it? Look at that. That's a, a real sort of powerhouse of operations. So. We're going to have to delete that. And that. So, two lines here can go off towards Manchester. Two lines can go off towards Nottingham and London. So, Nottingham. I can't imagine Nottingham's going to have an awful lot going on, is it? Um, I mean, right, hang on, where are we now? So, if we. So, we want to put the station over here, ideally, in Nottingham, don't we? And I mean, Nottingham does, of course, have trams. Just make it a bit smaller, because it doesn't need to be as grand as Sheffield, does it? Alright, there we go. Turn that round. Lovely. In the industrial district. And we will have the same station, but with... Uh, hang on, where are we? Main building. Just medium for Nottingham, please. That is brilliant. So obviously this is going to have things like the regional services. Some poetic license will have to be sort of added at this point. But obviously Nottingham. And then we can run express down to, uh, what's this? London, Euston, St. Cross. There we go. Right, is, is that going to work? I, I think it probably will do, won't it? Yeah, so, I mean, where can we also get from Nottingham? We can get up to Lincoln, can't we? Because we can run a passenger service Nottingham to Lincoln, Sheffield to Lincoln. And, of course, down that way there. Yeah, that's that's going to work. Right, okay, so. Let's go for a bit of that. Lovely, bit of that. All right, where are we? A bit of that as well. Lovely. And then we'll go for some 125. 
Possibly. Right, hang on. So Sheffield. We'll, we'll do this coming out of Sheffield. Because obviously Sheffield... Right, where are we now? So we'll build that flat. Yeah, lovely. This is where I find that this map isn't quite big enough. You know what I mean? Like, you, you, if the map was bigger and the cities were further apart, you'd have sort of more space for, for railways to, to be brilliant. Like, you know. Right, there we go. We'll put an X tight junction over there and a bit of that there we go lovely right brilliant so now this can be 125 although it can't can it right delete that yeah that's lovely so we're obviously heading down towards Nottingham here so we'll stick at 40 how's that 40, yeah, round the corner at 40, and then we can just go 125, we can just go full welly all the way down here, can't we? I mean, things aren't going to be able to get to 125, either, that's silly to think that they could, but, you know, they can give it a good go. Hang on, right, we'll, we'll put in a bridge in here, I didn't mean to put a bridge in, but if I go like that, you can manage 125 pretty much all the way down, but you are colliding with that road... So we'll delete that road, and you're colliding probably with this road, so we'll delete that as well. Now, if I just put you in there, how are you feeling about that? I mean, you're managing pretty much 125 the whole way, aren't you? We'll, we'll go for it. I mean, they, they can't achieve it, can they? But like I say, we'll, we'll go for it. Uh, lovely. And that can just go all the way up, connect onto Sheffield. Now, we're going to have to find a way of getting our goods line sort of round the back of Sheffield here. But we'll, we'll manage to do that in the next episode, I'm sure. Now, Nottingham can then go across to Birmingham. But have we got sort of 30 mile an hour? Yes, we do. Right, okay. So we'll bring this across here. There we go. Right, bring you over. Because then, the uh, the London trains can just come across into these far platforms here. Now, obviously, this this isn't how the Midland Main Line works. The uh, the line from Sheffield actually comes down this side of Nottingham and down to London. And the Nottingham branch is sort of a spur, which it forms a triangle over here, sort of, yeah. Um, you'll have probably seen that if you've been keeping up with the channel on the Trains in World Line, the, uh, the Midland Main Line. But, uh, but obviously this is semi-fictional, so we're going to have to sort of play by some rules, aren't we? But what we'll do is we'll, uh, we'll have that. Because obviously Nottingham can run to Birmingham and Gloucester, can't it? Because like the cross-country style services. So then we'll come out this end. There we go, just sort of flat. No, just, just flat there, lovely. Same again, just a bit of 30. Lovely. That's brilliant. Right, we'll, uh, we'll we'll do for a bit of crossover malarkey. Probably the same as what we did in Sheffield, to be honest, because the, uh, the X junction does work. Might not always be the prettiest, but it does work. You know, you, you get all trains to all destinations that way. There we go. That's That's pretty. Obviously, things will be uh, will be terminating in Nottingham. Now, down to London. Uh, I mean, I guess it's going to be this line and this line, isn't it? I, we don't need an awful lot for the Midland Main Line. I think just two platforms should suffice. So, we'll, uh, what are we using currently? Oh, I'm realising we've just left it on fast forward. I thought the money were going up at an elevator rate of knots. That's 25, so we'll do the same coming out of here. There we go, right. Keep that. Lovely. And then we'll go straight up to the 125 mark out of here. How's that? Because this 25 mark, yeah, there we go. This 25 can go over there. And if it plays ball, which of course it isn't, it can couple on there. How, how are we feeling from the other direction? No? Why? Right, we'll try a little further out. There we go. How about 
Now that way, yeah, and that works perfectly. Right, so obviously this can then go 125 straight away. So things leaving for the Midland Main Line are actually going to go faster than the West Coast. Good heavens. Right, keep that flat. Keep that flat. So, anyway, that is where we are going to leave it for today's episode. I do hope you have enjoyed. If you have, please do click the like button. It's always appreciated. And uh, do make sure that you subscribe. Oh, bloody hell. Uh, yeah, do make sure that you subscribe so that you never miss out on any future episodes of Transport Fever 2. Uh, yeah, that's where we're going to leave it for today. As I say, now in the next episode, we're going to continue building this railway. We're going to see how far we get. And, uh, yeah, thanks so much for watching. Hopefully, I shall see you all next time. Cheerio! Goodbye for now.